Man, this box is so big, you gotta see behind the curtain. Let's go. Geeks was popping. Storm Collectibles, Mortal Kombat, Shao Kahn, and I am thankful for this puppy here. I started late in the Storm Collectibles game, and the original Shao Kahn that came out easily goes for four to five hundred dollars on eBay, brand new, unopened. And that wasn't happening for the kid. So when they announced this updated release, I couldn't have been happier, especially because the throne that comes with this one is a hundred times better than the old one. All right, sorry, so damn, I had to get that glare off for you. All right, so here's the back of the box. Shows you all the glorious stuff that comes in the box. That throne, man, whew. So he comes with three head sculpts, his version of Mjolnir, and of course, that big old throne. Here's the top of the box, and if I didn't mention it, this is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. There is the bottom of the box. Emperor Shao Kahn's lust for power is matched only by his ruthlessness. Millennia ago, he overthrew Onaga as ruler of Outworld and has conquered many other realms since. Eventually, he turns his attention to Earth Realm. The Mortal Kombat tournament prevents him from taking the realm by force, but if Shao Kahn's champions win 10 consecutive tournaments, Earth Realm will be his. As long as his champions Shang Tsung and Prince Goro do not fail him, he will be victorious. All right, apologies that glare is back. I'm learning today that my setup is not equipped for something this large. Yeah, this thing is pretty incredible. They did such a great job on it. When you take it out of the package, be very careful. I don't know if you saw because the video was sped up, but it's heavy and it almost slipped out of my hand and it most assuredly would have broken if it hit the ground. So when you're taking it out, hopefully you won't be doing a review like me so you can take it out on top of a larger table, but nevertheless, just be really careful. I love the split and skull there with the blood stains all around the top. You can see all around the foot of the throne, blood from those that dared challenge him. My favorite part, the chains on the side. You can see that there are blood stains on the chain and a little bit of rust and the skulls of fallen enemies. This is so dope. And also be careful, the throne, the platform do separate. If you're carrying it and just hold it by the platform, and you lean it, it could flip out. You don't want that to happen. All right, accessories. We got a lot going on here. We've got his sledgehammer. We've got his bone skull helmet. We've got two alternate heads. We've got a bunch of hands. Then you have his powered up staff. Then you have his, his regular solid state staff. All right, there's the powered up version. normal that's a hammer man that is solid it is heavy well hello there before we go any further i just gotta say that my faith in storm collectibles is restored i only have two or three other figures from this company but both of those two figures had issues with loose limbs i'm happy to report that fresh out of the box this guy is stiff at least so far
Okay, so where do I begin? I haven't even done the articulation yet, but I'm absolutely in love with this figure. Or I should say this set. It so far seems pretty close to perfect. I have a feeling that when I start messing with this guy, I'm not gonna find anything wrong because he felt good in hand. The little movement I did, I didn't have any problems with it. His limbs aren't loose, just looking good. And then that throne, look how big that throne is. The top of the horns, it's 11 inches. It's almost a foot wide. This is sick. The paint apps are virtually perfect. Look at the shading on the bones on top of his armor and the char marks on the leather. The gold pops off. This looks like some kind of reptilian turtle skin. You get down to his legs, those bones have shading as well. The paint is impeccable. I don't see any flaws. Soft leather in the loin, so you don't lose flexibility when he's sitting on the throne. Skin paint looks really good too. Careful when you change the heads out. Don't put a lot of pressure. There's soft rubber here and it sinks down, so you don't want to push it in too far and break it. Right, so those heads will give you a nice 360. You get neck and head movement, so you get a big tilt left, big tilt right, if you want to see what it looks like. Nice. That's really looking down. Trying to find Earth Realm. He's got red large butterfly joints, so be careful those arms will pop out if you push them too far up. Not only does he have butterfly joints, but the upper chest piece here is rubber, so you get a really tight hug range ink because the chest is not stopping it, it gives and gives. Butterfly joint's going to work. That wing's fast sick. Get that good stretch. All right, you do get a 360. It's kind of part of that leather in the way. So I got to go all the way around. You get 360 at the bicep. Nothing at the forearm. 360 at the wrist. And this forearm armor does come off. You take the fist off, it'll just slide right off. Then this double jointed elbows, but he doesn't get much range past 90 degrees because he's got big old guns. The wrists are on rotating ball joints, so you can get him going whatever direction you like. He's in an upper torso rocker. You can get him to rock, roll around, turn left and right. He also gets waist articulation. Get 360 there. Now up here, you can get 360, it looks like. This leather's gripping it kind of tight. I don't want to pop that off. Nice thighs, I can't see. Yeah, it looks like he's a thigh cut. I, oh, actually, no, he doesn't have a thigh cut, but you get a 360 at the hip joint. And no boot cut. You do get a 360 at the feet, and it's nice and stiff. The guy gives you a decent split for his size. And damn it, you can do whatever you want because that 360 hip joint articulation. He does have pinless jointed knees, but you only get 90 degrees because of those thick, old thighs. I really like the ball joints they're using here for the ankles because you can get great range and not see the hinge. And hidden really well, some toe articulation is insane. I almost didn't notice it. I always say, let's get big, but this time I mean it. In this chop! Big beefy boy coming in at eight inches. There is next to the Storm Kentaro. As you can see, he is dwarfed. And there he is with McFarlane Shao Kahn. I think it's from Mortal Kombat 11, which is a great figure in its own right. But you can see there's really no comparison between the two. Okay, so what do I think? Absolutely phenomenal. One of the best action figures I've ever reviewed. It makes my heart flutter, just like that Mezco Doctor Doom. This is definitely top notch. Even if you don't collect Storm collectibles, and you're not in Mortal Kombat, this is just a great looking piece to have on your shelf. I truly and honestly can't pick out any major flaws. I highly recommend it, especially for the price. Storm Collectibles has released a lot of 112 scale figures that cost almost as much as this without this big old throne. And on top of you get above average size figure, accessories, multiple head sculpts, killer paint apps. Overall, it's a no brainer, it's gorgeous. But enough about what I think, let me know what you think. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and talk to me in the comments. Is this something you consider add to your shelf? If you collect the McFarlane Mortal Kombat figures, this will fit right in. Yeah, he's gonna look a whole lot better, but sitting on this throne in the background while the McFarlane figures fight, that's gonna be awesome. Make sure to join our Facebook group if you already have it. The name of the group's up in the left-hand corner of your screen. We chat the plastic there 24-7. Drop on in, show us your wares, and join the discussion. 
Again, thanks for all the support. If it's your first time here, like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, geek out.